Now, the professional services category is up next for outstanding international success in the professional business services, including legal, accounting, administration and support services, business management, marketing services, franchising and licensing, engineering, financial and insurance, market research, tourism and translation services. Wow, that is a big category, isn't it? Uh, let's welcome to the stage the CEO of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Andrew McKellar. Andrew. Well, thank you very much, uh, Koshi. Indeed, uh, the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry is very proud to have partnered uh, in these awards uh, for 59 out of the 60 years, as uh, Xavier Simone uh, mentioned. I'm not quite sure what happened to the other year or when that was, <laughs> uh, but look, we are absolutely delighted to partner uh, with Austrade, with the Australian Trade and Investment uh, Commission, and I must acknowledge uh, to Xavier and your outstanding professional team the work that you do to support Australian exporters around the world, give, giving them a leg up and I think really uh, helping them uh, in furthering the great initiative that they are taking themselves. So, <laughs> tremendous, uh, tremendous work. So, on that note, um, I'm very pleased to find out who the uh, finalists are for the Professional Services Award. A climb. IP solved. Medical Rescue North Australia Yacht Support Oilfield Technologies Terran Labs OK, a great uh, group of finalists and I'm very pleased to announce that the winner of the Professional Services Award is Medical Rescue. Well, wasn't uh, expecting that at all. Um, firstly, big shout out to uh, Austrade in South East Queensland and Trade and Investment in Queensland, who are always there to support us, to pick up the phone, to help us when we need a door open or need that um, expertise advice to, to crack that kind of international market. Um, <clears throat> to our partners and children who you know, have to suffer through those 3M phone calls and why is Dad getting up at you know, ridiculous hours of the night to take those calls and you know, try and get those meetings with those overseas <coughs> um, clients? But ultimately, this award is for our, our doctors, our nurses, our paramedics, who at the drop of a hat drop everything from their families to get up, to jump on our, one of our international air ambulances, go overseas, re repatriate an Australian or a foreign tourist and bring them back to some of our excellent hospitals back in Australia. So, this one's for you. Cheers. Wow. Right. How satisfying is it for you to really help Aussies in need overseas and bring them back? I've, I've just, I don't know, if, any of you know Hans the German, the um, entertainer who's, um, he had a horrific accident in, uh, in Turkey and took him ages to get out, had to be rescued medically as well. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's, it's one of those satisfying parts of our business that no two days are ever the same. That um, <clears throat> when you get that call from the insurance company or from that foreign government that, hey, we've got an injured worker, an injured diplomat somewhere in Micronesia or South Pacific, and it starts from there. It starts from the clinical advice that we give them of you know, how to manage them until our teams get over there to all the logistics of getting customs and immigration ready to get our pilots there, to get aircraft off over there, then coordinating all the different ambulance services in the foreign countries, yeah. to the 
um, <clears throat> to the language barriers from our clinicians to our foreign um, partners overseas, and then getting them back on you know, the full kind of intensive care air ambulance back to That's Australia. That's a logistical nightmare. Yeah, but we do it well. Yeah, that is good. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, I think everyone will be going to him for a card later on, just in case we ever get caught overseas. Yeah. How, how did you start? Um, my business partner and I, so we've done pretty well for a, for a doctor and a paramedic who have no business um, degrees behind us. So we, um, we met on a, on a contract that we actually now own and run. Um, we saw a, a gap in the market that was historically kind of managed by the charities, so like RFDS and the like around the country. And um, yeah, saw that gap that for that kind of privatisation of yeah, the medical services there and you know, a bit more aggressive, you know, take the market. That That's is good. fantastic. Congratulations again on, on winning. Good, good idea.